Hi, welcome to another Urban Outdoorsman SoCal video. My name is Danny Milton, and today we're going to be in Barstow. We're out in Barstow today because we're going to be doing some more active track testing. We're going to be using the spotlight mode and the point of interest mode to chase our vehicle down the road as we drive across the desert. So the spotlight feature is a manual flight mode. Uh, what it will do is it will keep your subject that you lock onto center frame no matter where you fly the drone, high, low, in circles, whatever you want to do, it'll keep that subject right in the middle. Point of interest mode is an autonomous flight mode. Basically what it does is once you lock onto your subject, the drone will follow that subject no matter where it goes, but also what it will do is it will orbit that subject as the subject is moving. And what's really great about it is you can change the speed of that orbit right there on the screen. So while I'm using spotlight mode, I'm gonna have it following me at low altitude. I'm also gonna try flying the drone backwards, keeping the subject in the frame. And also we're gonna try it at a higher elevation to see how it does there. And when we do the point of interest tracking, I'm going to have it at low altitude and high altitude to see if there's any difference in the speed that we can drive the truck. Okay, so now I want to do uh, a little bit of active track, but we're going to be using spotlight and we're going to try and go a little bit faster. So let's screen record, start, draw the box, got our truck, active track. We're going to leave it in spotlight. I'm going to be flying the drone. I want to see how fast. Now, in the previous testing, to get all the way around the truck while we were moving, we couldn't get up to more than about 10, maybe 12 miles per hour. The drone, if we were going any faster than that, the drone just couldn't get around to the front of us. So I'm just going to drive, you know, straight line-ish, 25, see how fast the drone will be able to keep up with us while I'm flying at the same time. I am going to be flying and you're going to be driving. So I'm going to let the truck get out a little bit here. We are in sport mode, so speed shouldn't be a problem. You can see up to like 35, 36 there for a second. Let's see if I can get over to the side here. Doing a good job. Now I've got the stick pushed all the way to the right. I want to see getting out in front of us so it did get out in front of me just for a second there oh okay come on stay on it you keep driving I'm just flying around in circles um, let's see if I can get out and get in front of it every time I try to get in front of it and get around to the front of the truck to fly it backwards it kind of pulls in automatically to the truck itself so don't go any faster than 40 Okay, 33 right now. Okay. See, so I'm trying to get out in front of the truck. Yeah, and see, it just goes like right over the top and it won't get out in front where I can start flying backwards and film from the front of the truck. But it's flying at a pretty good speed. I mean, you can see it's all up to 37, 38 miles per hour. So being in spotlight isn't hampering the top speed of, you know, tracking and keeping your subject, you know, locked on at full speed. I'm trying to get out in front of the truck. Come on. Almost. All right, we're out in front of the truck. I'm flying backwards, I'm trying to fly backwards in a straight line. So now I'm gonna to try to fly the drone backwards while I'm looking at it. The only thing is, uh, we are increasing in altitude. So I'm not watching my screen right now, I'm just watching the drone. So I actually have to be climbing at the same time. Try and go a little faster. 26. So I'm climbing and flying the drone backwards while I'm looking at it. It's actually working out a little bit better because I'm able to 
keep it over the road a little bit better. Okay, get up to 30. circle a little bit so 10 ish miles per hour to start with okay mm -hmm. so we're gonna spotlight and go so now the drone is gonna circle around us automatically while it's tracking us we're only gonna be going about 10 miles per hour then maybe we'll slowly increase our speed to see if the drone can keep up um, yeah let's record and start moving So max 10 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. So the drone should be moving up to our right. Now, maybe I need to increase the speed that it goes around. So you can see that on the screen record there. There's, there's the drone. So slowly getting around to in front of us. watching it because it's flying sideways and our elevation is changing a little bit so I'm gonna just put it up a little bit higher there you can see oh wow yeah that's pretty good around the other side now this is where it may struggle because it's gonna have to keep up with us as it swings around so yeah you can see it's doing a really good job of swinging around us. It's having a little bit of a hard time catching up to us right now. It's kind of stuck in that maybe four or five o'clock position. Stay at 10. Don't slow down. Okay. okay remember, we got to go left here. Yep. Make sure its arc doesn't go into the net left territory. Right. So we're flying. We're going away from the drone a little bit. I'm gonna increase the altitude just a touch. Oh, it locked on the other car. Boo! Oh no! Okay, it's moving around us pretty fast. <laughs> you can see on the screen record. So the drone, I've got the drone up in the air, screen recording. It's moving around us at full speed right now. So we'll see what happens once we start moving. Let's go ahead and take off. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's stay at 10 and then maybe we'll go a little bit faster depending if the drone can keep circling us or not. So now we're moving. The drone is probably 20 feet to our right. Going around the front. Uh, did a good job there of sweeping around to the left. Now it's gonna have to really speed up to catch us again. Which it's doing. That to our right now. And it went over us again. Okay, go up to 15 and stay at 15. So now we're going 16 miles per hour, should just down at maybe 15. You see the drone is going all the way up to 26, 27 to catch up to us. Get around that front side again. Pretty low, I'm gonna raise that altitude just a touch. <laughs> it's like right out the window. Not really. 
It's about 20 feet away, but it seems like it's right out the window. So I am increasing the height just a little bit every now and then. Right now we're going 15 and it's not getting around to the front of the truck automatically. It's kind of falling behind a little bit. Maybe there's some wind. There's a car on the left. So I'm trying to push the stick to the right and that's not helping at all. It's not helping to get, get around to the front of us. Okay, so we slowed down about 10 miles per hour. Woo, that got close to us. So it was able to get back around to the front of us again once we slowed down to 10 miles per hour. Let's see if it'll do it again. Let's raise that altitude just a little bit. So at 10 miles per hour, when we're moving 10 miles per hour, it's doing pretty good of circling us, getting around the front and coming back around, catching up to us again. There it is right here. Ooh, right over the top of us. Still staying locked on though, even though it's getting pretty close to us. So right now we're going 10 miles per hour. The drone is getting around. And then there's always the kind of fall back as it goes around behind us. It's catching up pretty good. Let's get a little bit more elevation on it. Coming around. Yep, doing a good job. A little bit more distance between us and the drone. And stay, try to go up to 15. Let's see if we can go up to 15 miles per hour and still have the drone circle us. Hopefully the GoPro's not falling out of the picture here. So we're going 13 right now. The drone's getting around in front of us. Now we're going 15. Yeah, it's doing a good job. Just a little bit more distance between us and the drone and it's able to swing around us at a faster speed. Let's go up to 20. Try to get up to 20 and stay at 20. Yeah, I know. Okay. This is, we're almost done. Okay. So we're gonna try and get up to 20 miles per hour here. Hopefully the GoPro is <laughs> still recording me. Uh, let's see, the drone is, let's raise the altitude a little bit see if it'll be able to get around in front of us and make that circle around real quick. We're going 22 right now. Let's try to get down to about 20. It's stuck out there and maybe nine o'clock from us. Slowly getting around. Come on, Joan, you can do it. Get around in front of us. Make that full circle. It's almost there. About parallel to us right now. It's coming around. We're still going about 20 miles per hour. You can see it's just getting around to that front spot. And look at that. Full circle at 20 miles per hour. Very cool. Low point has been updated. Please check it out the map. She's bossy. She is bossy. Way bossier than I am. So another thing I want to mention really quickly is if you're looking to purchase this drone, I will have affiliate links down in the description also to the GoPro setup that I have as well. If you click on any of those links, that will help support the channel. So in both modes, the drone tracked us really well. There was just the one tiny glitch of the one time we were in spotlight mode and we drove past another vehicle the drone switched to the other vehicle. Other than that, the drone stayed locked on to me no matter where I flew the drone in spotlight or point of interest. It did a really good job um, with the drone in sport mode. It was able to, you know, top out its maximum speed in both of those modes. A couple times, you know, you could see the drone getting all the way up to, you know, 40 plus miles per hour. All right, so thanks again for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully some of the stuff that you found in here is a little interesting, will help you get out and use your Mavic 2 in other ways. Just wanna let you know, I'm no professional. These are just my results that I can share with you guys. So if you're thinking about buying this drone or if you have any problems using it, doing some of these tracking modes and such like that, hopefully these videos will help you. If you do have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section below. I usually answer questions within a one, or, one or two days. So I, I'm here to help you guys. 
leave those comments down below. Do all that fun stuff for me, please. Smash that like button, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Once you subscribe to the channel, please hit that bell notification so you do get notified whenever I have any new videos coming out. And the last thing you do is click on one of these boxes in the corners. One's gonna take you to a rides playlist, another to a favorite video, and you can click the logo in the other corner, the Urban Outdoorsman SoCal logo to subscribe. Thanks a lot.